What's going on, guys? It's me, JV, coming to you live this Sunday morning. Today is uh, November 24th, 2024. You notice that there's two, a lot of two and a lot of twos and a lot of fours. Two, four, two, four. Anyway, sorry for my throat. I've been, get, I, I was under the weather. I'm still under the weather. I got hammered by the uh, constant changes in, in the weather. And I'm recuperating. I'm recovering from my uh, cold. So here I am making another video. This time I want to talk about my trip that I made to Lima, Peru back in uh, September of 2021. Same thing as uh, my other trip that I made earlier that year to uh, Medellin, Colombia. I was there also for 10 days. I uh, originally had uh, scheduled a flight to Santiago, Chile back in 2021, but because of the pandemic and the fact that there was a lot of restrictions from many governments around the world, and uh, it was virtually impossible as a tourist to actually fly into those countries unless you were of Chilean or of uh, citizenry, uh, uh, unless you were a citizen of that country is what I'm trying to say. You were not allowed into the country. You had to quarantine for about 15 days or so, anywhere between five to 15 days. And so I had to change my flight after a headache that I had to go through with the airline that didn't want to reimburse me for my flight to Santiago. So they changed it up to uh, Lima. And so I went to Lima, Peru. I was there for 10 days. I got there on the 13th of September. And uh, I got to tell you something, man. I didn't like Lima. I'm sorry. I just didn't didn't appreciate the fact that it was in the middle of a desert. The city looks very brown. Unless you go to Miraflores. Miraflores is uh, the best part of the city by far. It's on the coast. It's right next to the Pacific Ocean. So uh, it is surrounded by uh, beautiful nature. Uh, everything is green. Green pasture. They have hotels all over the place. They have uh, also many restaurants, many shops. And uh, if you walk about five blocks east, if you block, if you walk five blocks east, you actually get to a place called uh, Parque Kennedy. And I was hanging out there. It's like a plaza, but they call it Parque Kennedy. And there's a lot of stuff going on there. So it's uh, by far the best part of the city, but. Overall, in general, I didn't like it. I stayed in a very rough area called Los Olivos, which uh, I was uh, getting constantly warned that uh, it was a dangerous location because there was a lot of uh, Venezuelan people that were coming in due to the crisis that that country has been going through for the last 15 years. And so they were getting an influx of Venezuelan people that were being mis very mischievous with their uh, behavior. But uh, to tell you the truth, I didn't experience anything like that. Um, I didn't experience any any uh, criminal activity. I didn't see anything uh, nefarious. I didn't see anything crazy. But I did take my precautions. And uh, I was very, very careful. So when I got there, I, I still had a Tinder account. From the time that I was in Medellin, Colombia, I did not delete my Tinder account. So I still had it active. And when I got there to Lima, I did the same thing. I opened my account. I uh, basically started swiping to the left and to the right. <laughs> and uh, I came across this girl that was uh, really, really cute, uh, very voluptuous from the waist up. And uh, we started talking. We actually matched and we started talking. Uh, she was a cake maker. That was her profession. She was a very good uh, cake artist. So basically she got contracted and hired by many couples that were getting married uh, or uh, parents of uh, quinceañeras, uh, girls that were turning 15 and they wanted to have a big celebration. Uh, she got a lot of business from those cele uh, uh, celebrations because she was very good at decorating uh, cakes. And so we uh, <clears throat> we met, 
within five days that I was there, because she was extremely busy, we met at a place called uh, uh, Chorrillos. Chorrillos is basically like a neighborhood that's south of Miraflores. They have a lot of graffiti there. They have, they have a lot of murals. It is also a tourist attraction. And uh, we went to a restaurant there and had a very good time. We, we actually ate ceviche, which is one of the staple uh, dishes that the Peruvians serve. It's one of their most famous, worldwide famous dishes. It was uh, very delicious. I mean, it was incredible, uh, the entire meal. And uh, I uh, had a drink called chicha morada, which is uh, a corn syrup type of a drink. Very sweet, very delicious. It's uh, one of their staples as well. And I had that for a drink. And uh, we spent a couple of hours there. She showed me pictures of, of her decorations, of her work as a cake maker. Just very impressive. She really was a very artistic woman when it came to... Uh, making cakes <clears throat> and uh the problem is also is that back in 2021 i was like 41 years old she was only 23 so there was a huge age gap between myself and herself but i i immediately brought this up when we were originally getting to know each other on the tinder.com website and she didn't mind the fact that I was 20 years older than she was. I guess she just wanted to have a, a meeting. She just wanted to get to know each other. And uh, we actually did indeed meet up at this place called Chorrillos. So we, we were there for about two hours. And then after our, uh, our date, um, I wasn't feeling very well, to tell you the truth. I had a stomach. Uh, I had an, an upset stomach. And I just wanted to go uh, back to my Airbnb because I wasn't feeling it. So I had to call a taxi cab and the taxi took uh, her to her house. Well, actually we went to her house first. We went to the corner of her house in, in one taxi. And then once I got there, I called my own taxi and I left. And uh, I wasn't feeling very well. So I went back. I recovered in a couple of days and then I contacted her back again to see if she wanted to ha hang out and she said that it was possible to hang out at a place in Lima, in Centro Lima. So we went to this call, pl a place called San Martin. It's like a huge uh, main square of uh, Lima. It's basically where the uh, governmental palace is. That's where they conduct all of their governmental uh, affairs. And we went there and we basically went to a lot of souvenir locations where they sold a bunch of stuff to take back to the United States. And then <clears throat> we went back to uh, another restaurant and had another meal uh, on that night. But because I was recovering from my uh, uh, stomach ache. I really didn't eat much at all. I pretty much left the meal almost intact because I just still wasn't fully recovered. And I don't know, I had like a um, reflex effect. You know, everything was uh, grossing me out. And so I didn't really uh, drink much or eat anything much at all uh, during that stay. But after the, uh, after our uh, dinner, uh, I hung out with her for a couple of hours and then I called in a night uh, afterward. But she was really cute, very attractive young lady. I felt a little bit uh, uncomfortable because of the age gap. You know, the fact that I was almost uh, 18 years older than she was, it was just uh, weird. But, you know, <clears throat> over in Latin America... I don't know what it is, but in Latin America, it's, uh, age is not really a big issue unless it's uh, completely, uh, uh, unless the difference is outrageous, you know, like you're talking about 40, 50 year difference, then obviously it's going to creep in anybody out. But if it's, you know, five, 10 year difference, it's really not that big of a, a deal over in Latin America. I don't, I don't think women really, and generally speaking, of course, uh, 
take umbrage with uh, with the age gap, like you see in other, perhaps in other places. She really didn't uh, notice the age. Uh, she was very articulate. Uh, she was a professional. Not not only was she a, a cake maker, but she actually had her degree in law. She was still getting her master's degree. So this was a very talented young lady. And uh, it was really a neat experience uh, meeting, uh, meeting up with her. I lost total uh, communication once I left. Lima, I said to myself, I'm never coming back here. So what's the point of having this contact information, I'm more than likely never going to go back to Peru. I mean, it wasn't really my number one choice. The only reason why I left to Lima is, or the only reason why I, le I went to uh, Peru is because there was really no other options. There was really no other alternatives. I was thinking about going to Guayaquil, Ecuador, which I eventually did. Uh, a year later, I went to uh, Guayaquil, Ecuador, but it's a very dangerous city. It really is dangerous there. So um, at first I was hesitant. I was apprehensive about going to Ecuador. And then, like I said, a year later, I decided to take a risk. And I was also there for about a week and a half. I'll talk about that uh, experience on another video. But as far as Lima, Peru, all I can tell you is if you're going to go to Lima, make sure you stay at Miraflores. You definitely don't want to stay in, the, in, in Los Olivos where I stayed. The only reason why I decided to book an Airbnb there is because it's so close to the airport. It's about a five-minute uh, transportation uh, via taxi, via a uh, you know small bus. So it's very, very cheap. I only paid about a, a sol and a half, which is literally nothing. I mean, a sol and a half is like 20 cents. And I figured, you know what, this is a good place to stay. It's close to the airport. But then I immediately <laughs> realized that it had been a huge mistake because I had to travel very long distances to, to go to the main attractions, to go to uh, Miraflores, to go to uh, Los Chorrillos, to go to uh, the uh, Centro de Lima and other areas that were the main locations where you wanted to be as a tourist i usually spent anywhere between 50, uh, 20 to 30 soles per uh, uh uber per uh, dd drive uh ride so it was very very expensive but anyway it was uh just wanted to share my experience of my trip to lima peru back in september of 2021 i, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your sunday Today is again the 24th, November 24th, 2024. And uh, I will catch you on the next video. Hasta la vista, baby.